Soon after, the faculty staff gathered, with Hyun Sung sitting across the table, to talk about what happened. The principal then stated that he wouldn't tolerate this incident. He then asked the teacher if they saw the faces of the victims, to which they said they did, so they agree on each other to punish Hyun Sung about this incident. But before the English teacher can continue her statement, Kim Young Chul nudge her to stop, because he knows it will be the end of them if Hyun Sung got expelled. So to avoid that, Kim Young Chul stepped up to tell them. That is true that Hyun Sung was in the wrong, but through his observations as the homeroom teacher of Section 1, the cause of the incident was the victims, including Park Min Chul. Hearing Kim Young Chul disagree with them, made the principal confused. Therefore he asks to clarify, to which Kim Young Chul did, and explained to them that there are a lot of students that say, Park Min Chul's gang bullies the students on a normal basis, so he was planning to catch them on the act and punish them accordingly. But student Hyun Sung must have been unable to endure the bullying and did what he did in the end. He then adds that, student Hyun Sung was a victim before he was a perpetrator. If they punish Hyun Sung like this, they will be doing something that a teacher shouldn't do. But even with this, the principal tells him that a punishment is inevitable. With how the principal react, Kim Young Chul has no choice but to answer back. While they are getting heated up, the principal is doing this because he was well aware that Jung Min Ho's parents won't let this matter slide. So to relieve their anger, he must stamp on the perpetrating students. If he aimed to make the Bright Prospect School a prestigious institution, he must hold tight his ties with the powerful. Therefore with this belief, he decide to convene a review committee one week from now, and they will decide on how they will punish Hyun Sung in that meeting, and he orders the teacher to control this issue, so that the rumors about this don't spread, and also he declares that student Hyun Sung will be suspended until the review committee meeting. After giving the orders, he advises Hyun Sung to think about what he did wrong, while he doesn't appear at school, after that he must come to school with his parents in one week, but this outcome only made Hyun Sung even happier, since all of this was according to his plan, he then stood up, and left the place, but before he could go back to his class, Kim Young Chul caught up to him, and explained to him that he did his best, and get to his good sides, however, this pathetic gesture of his, only made Hyun Sung laugh at him, and think less of him even more, but still, Hyun Sung tells Kim Young Chul that he knows he tried his best, and after that he confronts him, about knowing from the beginning that, Park Min Chul has been bullying the students, so Hyun Sung looks at him with disdain, and advises him to always remember, until he graduates from this school, he must always do his best for Hyun Sung's sake, regardless of the means or methods, that is the only way he can stop him from speaking up, and of course, he is also going to tear the English teacher's life to pieces too if he failed, still, he assures him that he will keep his word, with this, Kim Young Chul has no choice but to accept his fate. Hyun Sung then went on his way, while gritting his teeth, because if it were just up to him, he would really love to destroy him. However, Kim Young Chul is not his true goal, so he can't throw away a useful card right away, just because of his anger. At least, he needs him until he lays the groundwork at Bright Prospects High School. One week from now, is the time he has been thinking and planning about, for the past decade. Once this time passes, the principal, Day one will be surprised about a situation that will unfold, completely different from what he is expecting. A few moments later, Hyun Sung is walking down an alley, towards their house, a Scanian multi-residential complex, which would only cost 50 million won. If it were for the insurance money they got after his parents' death, they would have been living here on rent. When he heard that his grandmother had to sell this place for his hospital fee, it was like the world was falling apart for him. He used to think this place was shabby, but now he is just thankful he has a place to live. Hyun Sung then enters their house, calling out for his family, in order to meet them after many long years. However, no one is there to greet him. Now he remembers his grandma used to work daily at this hour, and he then realizes that if he wants to help his family, he doesn't have time to be sentimental. It's a miracle already that he got this opportunity, so he is not only going to take his revenge but also provide a good environment where his grandma and brother can live comfortably, and there is one week before the review committee convenes, so he knows that he has just a few days left to get his shit together, and to organize his thoughts, he opens his notebook, to list everything he has planned, since his plans are clear, he knows that he must secure the surrounding territory to establish a base within two years, and start clearing their stronghold during the sophomore year. In order to do that, he needs to meet three conditions. First, is his physical strength, physical strength to bring down those bastards who lead school violence. He has to grow enough strength that won't make him fall easily, although there is a way to train himself. But that guy, if he can just rope in that guy on his side, it will bring him a huge advantage in the fight. The next condition is also pretty similar. The bastards you will be facing from now on are connected to a vast association. So if he has to deal with all of them, he should also have a group of people who share his goal. And that's the problem, right now. He is merely a freshman, even if he has a perfect plan, there is no way he can get his revenge on his own. With this, he knows that he must position the pieces on the game board he made, and gather the people he needs. 
And last but not least, a problem he can solve only because he knows the future. He should have a background that can reduce all the problems into nothing in order for him to execute the plans properly. At any rate, to solve the upcoming problem of the review committee, the paramount condition is having a background. At a later time, inside the police station, a white-haired man is causing a scene because of the situation that he was in. In using his status, he threatens them, and just in case they don't know him, he loudly introduced himself, which the officer knows very well that he is Go Changbium, the eldest son of the Myling Jean Construction Company, and a mighty figure of Dezen who can screw their lives if they do something wrong. But right now, even he has to act cautiously since the company is in the middle of selecting a new heir. As such, they have no choice but to follow due process of law, and it's a better course of action than being pestered by the other side for letting it slide. While Go Changbium is troubled because of what happened, and he is here at the police station since a bastard started a fight with him, and he had no choice but to reciprocate. It was not his fault that those bastards were so weak that they had to be taken to the emergency room, but he knows that if things go wrong, he is sure the bastards who oppose him will capitalize on it. And with this, he knows he really fucked up this time. He is taking this matter seriously, because recently, his father made the formal announcement regarding the onset of the succession war between him and his brother the outcome of which will determine who gets his position. A war between him, who has barely graduated from high school, and his brother, who has graduated from a prestigious foreign university. His brother even married the daughter of a prestigious family three years ago. As such, his brother has a much firm position right now, and if this case is publicly revealed, he will really be falling down the cliff. The officer then tried to calm him down, explaining that it'll be challenging for them to let such a case slide, which Go Changbium was furious to hear this and tried to explain his side. However, the officer still didn't believe him. There wasn't even a CCTV at the crime scene, and since he didn't have any proof, they had nothing that could deny the victim's testimony. With this, he could only look away as he cursed about the air competition, and with him turning to look away, he noticed the kid's presence. Now he wondered why there was a kid in this place, but to his surprise, this kid states that he came here to testify what he is claiming. A few moments later, the police officer is sweating like crazy while reviewing the recording that Hyunsung gave. He then asks Hyunsung how did he get this, because, just like Mr. Go Changbium said, the bystanders started swinging their fists, and no matter how they look at this, it was them who tried to pick a fight against Mr. Go Changbium, who was just walking by. Hyunsung explained to them that he coincidentally witnessed it, and he noticed there wasn't any CCTV around, and because the testimony from a minor was not sufficient, he requested for the footage from the black box of a nearby car. Hyunsung then declares that this gentleman tried his best to get out of that situation, but those people were persistent, and that's why he had no choice but to fight back. If there is something wrong with what he did, it's only the fact that he was so strong that he knocked out those people in a single punch. This is clearly self-defense. Amazed by Hyunsung, Go Changbium backed up his claim, while he had a smile on his face, because his father believes that people should be beaten when they deserve it. As long as he has a witness and proof, there is no reason for him to be in a predicament just because of this case. So with this, the officer declared that this matter is settled, and after the offenders are treated, he would call him back. He then tries to save his ass by telling Go Changbium that they regret the inconvenience they caused him, and they should have listened to him and probed this matter thoroughly, and they failed to be impartial after seeing the victim's blood, but this bullshit wasn't effective to him, telling the officer that's his problem, so he will make sure to remember that face of his, and tells him that he will have a bright future ahead of him, and just look forward to it. After that was settled, Go Changbium and Hyunsung are now outside the police station. He then tells Hyunsung that he could have been really screwed if it wasn't for him. So he, Go Changbium, ain't someone who forgets the favor, and gives him money for what he did, which Hyunsung happily accepts, while Go Changbium is amazed by this, because normally, kids of his age are reluctant to take such a huge amount of money. But not only did he look for CCTV, he even found the black box video. However, his thoughts are interrupted by Hyunsung asking him if he thinks all that was just a coincidence. This question confuses him, so he asks to clarify, to which Hyunsung gets straight to the point, and tells him that he knows who he is, and what circumstances that he was in. With just this, he was ready to beat Hyunsung to the ground, but before that, he asks who he is, to which Hyunsung tells him that he has proof that can prove that this wasn't just a coincidence. How was the video? We hope it was good. If so, please check these videos. Also, please comment down your thoughts and your suggestions for future videos. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing now to show the support to our channel. We hope to see you soon with another video right in this channel. Have a nice day.